Today we're gonna learn some tricks to make your mobile pictures more interesting using Snapseed app. I shot this from my phone on a cloudy day. Having soft shadows with no harsh light is a big plus to make our own light here. To replace the sky, I need to try making the part of the sky completely white. This especially helps if you have dark clouds too. To do that, I'm gonna start by applying black and white filter and choosing a color which gives maximum contrast between the foreground and the background. In this case, blue. Now moving to curves to further intensify the contrast so that the grayish parts completely become black in the foreground and white in the background. To remove the white spots in the foreground, turning the whole image to black with curves by dragging the top right point to the bottom. Going to masking screen, brushing on the foreground areas to make them black. Now using double exposure, adding the original image and selecting the add mode which works best here. Now we have the sky part completely white which makes it easier to add a different sky image there. Using healing tool, cleaning up some debris. Now adding the sky image using double exposure and selecting dark and blend mode. Placing it so that the setting sun is close to the horizon here. Going to masking screen now and brushing out the image in the foreground. Being careful especially around the horizon, zooming in and brushing more precisely. Next, trying some steps to make the foreground to match with the sky and the evening hours. First, darkening the overall image using curves. Going to masking screen, applying the darkened effect with different level of transparencies in different areas. Making the bottom more darker here. Also removing the effect on these parts of the fallen tree to bring some light back.
Now I'm going to try to change the tones of the foreground a bit to make it match more with the colors in the sky. Going to white balance, just increasing the tint a bit to add some reddish tones. Also some warmer tones with the temperature slider. Applying it on the foreground. I'm going to try to pop especially around the brighter parts of the foreground by adding some hot contrast with curves. Applying the effect in the masking screen. Some dodging using the brush tool to make few parts more bright. Now to apply some ambient light around the sun, lifting the blacks to make the whole image brighter. Going to masking screen, applying just around the parts of the sun. These subtle effects here and there makes the final image more interesting. As you can see the direction of the sunlight hitting the tree will be more brighter than the other side. Now I will be adding one more subtle effect. Going back to the step before the addition of the sky image. There I am going to darken the image a little with curves. Then in the masking screen, making the other parts of the tree darker, which gives it a more natural look. Adding a bit of vignette with the vintage filter. Just a slight hint of vignette. Using a selective filter, adding some contrast and a bit of saturation to the grass in the middle. And the final result. Thanks for watching.